everyone, thanks for watching. This is the final video forum for the Liberty University online course, The Revolutionary War. And I want to talk today about the First Amendment to the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. And this amendment states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. And usually we'll refer to this amendment as the one that gives us both freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and uh, freedom of religion. And I want to talk about this today in reference to um, freedom of speech and how it's expressed wrongly by people today. Um, there have been many cases in which people have been prosecuted for the burning of the American flag. And sadly, this is a problem that we see very often in our world today, even um, our own citizens in the United States burning the U.S. flag. In uh, 1989, a course was, case rather was tried uh, before the Supreme Court. And this was a man by the name of Gregory Lee Johnson who burned an American flag outside the convention center in 1984 where the Republican National Convention was being held. And he, this, um, this happened in Texas and he was tried by a Texas court for the desecration of a venerated object. They found him guilty, but he appealed to the Supreme Court stating that his actions were symbolic speech and thus protected by the First Amendment. The Supreme Court agreed to hear his case, and in the end, they ruled that burning a flag was symbolic speech and protected by the First Amendment. So the majority of the Supreme Court agreed with Justice William Brennan that the flag burning was constitutional according to the principle of free speech and that the law in Texas was discriminating upon someone's viewpoint, that viewpoint being that it is okay to burn a symbol of the United States of America. Uh, Justice Stevens, on the dissenting side, argued that the flag's unique status as a symbol of national unity outweighed the symbolic speech concerns. Thus, the government could lawfully prohibit flag burning. But Unfortunately, Justice Stevens was in the minority, and this flag burning was ruled constitutional. Yet, the U.S. Flag Code, uh, Title IV, Chapter 1, states that no disrespect should be shown to the flag of the United States of America. The flag should not be dipped to any person or thing. The flag should never touch anything beneath it, such as the ground, the floor, water, or merchandise. The flag should never be fastened, displayed, used, or stored in such a manner as to permit it to be easily torn, soiled, damaged in any way. The code is very clear. This was set in place as federal law in 1923 and 1924 and uh, amended in 1942. So this is federal law and it's very clear in how the flag should be treated. The flag should never touch the ground, the flag should never be mistreated, it should always be shown the utmost respect. And really, in a way, uh, the flag is it's almost a living symbol of a country and how it can be ruled permissible for a citizen of a nation to burn that symbol of his country is is really almost beyond um, beyond comprehension so how could it be that a law of the United States can really go completely against uh, a secondary law. The Constitution protects free speech, yet the U.S. flag code states that the flag should never be disrespected. So the question comes to, is burning a flag free speech, or should it be fully prosecuted as breaking the U.S. law code and as um, destruction 
of a symbol of our country.